Now, this house, <clears throat> it's a very unassuming exterior. This one is in Sparks, Nevada. $825,000 home. Yeah, yeah, DW, that's a, uh, that's a, I actually didn't spot that before. There's two garages, it seems. They're divided, but one of them is recessed back a bit. That's weird. Huh. Anyway. I genuinely don't recall if we figure out what's going on with that. That's, that's something I haven't actually seen before. Yeah, it's a two-car garage and a single garage. I mean, I'm guessing they have a wall dividing those as well, so it's like, huh? Could you not find an extra wide door? Staggered garage. Could it be? Yeah. Maybe an addition? Possibly. Possibly. Big house, though. As you can see right here, it's a big, big house. Hmm. Well, the windows are consistent. I mean, that's that's something we have going for us this week. Okay. Backyard. Depressing. All these backyards. Depressing. It is Nevada, though, so I can't speak for how straightforward it is to, you know, maintain a some semblance of greenery, but what you gonna do? <laughs> All these backyards are kind of disappointing, but... Well, what you gonna do? Oh, here we have mismatching windows, though. Very mismatching windows. Hmm. On the inside, we can see we're going with a bit of a, um, a bit of a gold coloration inside here. Very vibrant ruby red fabrics, with a bit of a gold trim. It's very interesting. It's also that's also leather, probably faux leather, but I can't imagine that's going to be comfortable in the Nevada heat. Mm, yeah, this has an aesthetic. There's also a statue. Huh. That's weird. Well, we came from a house with a lot of statues. It's not a big deal. Mildly vaporwave? No, I think it's just a bit of um, a bit of extravagance. Yeah, they just painted the the whole interior gold, 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 gold. Spray paint gold too. Look at that. That's that spray paint. That looks super tacky. They couldn't even get a good paint job. That's what's so peculiar about this. Oh, I got a Roman or Greek style statue bust over here. Hmm. Here we are in the um, the dining room, which is. I appreciate how this is very tacky and extravagant, but also just looks so chicken shit and cheap. Like these carpets. These carpets are really, really have like a really silly extravagant pattern. But they're super cheap. I mean, these things, they probably got them online for like 20 bucks a piece. They look so cheap and so tacky. I love it. Those crown tiles in the back. Hmm. Crown tiles. These? Don't worry about that. Straight from Target? Yeah. Probably. Hmm. Well, the kitchen looks pretty normal. Nothing untoward. Don't look over here too much. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Look over here. Got a nice range on the island here. Yeah, yeah. Got some... some platters. Maybe... Maybe we don't have to worry about those. Hmm? Oh, I don't know what that is. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. It's fine. They like the Roman Legion? Well, maybe a little. I get kind of a whisper. A little bit of whisper. Mm. Sono pazzi questi romani. <laughs> Another statue. Boy. Bit of a, got a bit of a, bit, a, a, a maybe I'm imagining things a little bit of a, an aesthetic we're picking up here. A little bit of gold. Hmm. Also, I'm just noticing now the uh, edge around this has kind of like a fake uh, rope-like texture to it. You see what I mean? 
the molding here has some sort of a look to make it look like it is like some fancy gold threading or good rope, gold rope sort of thing. But this, well, it can't get worse. I think we've already seen the, the worst of it, maybe. Maybe. Anyway, these look un as unstable as hell, but whatever. Nobody ever uses these. This psychopath never has guests, I'm going to bet. And this is uh, a slightly different living room. Yeah, it's kind of like the same thing we saw previously, you know? It is, uh, <laughs> by way of a Roman legion, God. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, we're picking up a little bit more gold, though, folks. Things are going to get a little bit heavy coming up here. This was, this was just the warm-up. We're getting to the heavy stuff shortly. A wider shot of the den. The entertainment area for the commoners. Here's your golden shitter. <laughs> I kind of wonder if the person did this themselves or if they hired somebody else to do it for them. And the person... I mean, hell, I wonder anybody coming into this house is like, man... What a goddamn psychopath. <laughs> a lounging sofa. <laughs> Never actually seen a golden toilet in person, boy. Hmm. More gold, more gold. Golden workout room. Hmm. Nothing we haven't seen already. Yeah, the, the fan's gold, too. Of course the fan is gold. I mean, what would you expect? Just something like just stainless steel, brushed nickel? <laughs> Commoner material. <laughs> Good throwback, Denvy. <laughs> I'm glad the dog food blends in. Now I'm kind of, oh, man... Look at these clothes, y'all. Look at these clothes. Look at this jacket. Oh, yeah, that fits. That fits. <laughs> it probably is suede. This is like his inner... This is his, entertain his entertaining jacket. It's a lot of dog food, yeah. We didn't even get to see a good dog. There's just... There's just all this dog food here. Also a photocopier? You don't see like a big old Xerox machine inside of houses, but... Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, the gold? Yeah, probably. The closet with a... Uh, well, I mean, I will say one thing for the closet. At least they sorted this stuff by color, loosely. They kept the spectrum somewhat trending across. Photocopiers extremely stolen? Probably. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is Nevada, so they could... They, you're right, Suma. They probably did go and play penny slots. Not quite done yet, y'all. Not quite done yet. Welcome to Steve's place. I need to take a drink. Before my voice dies on me. Yeah. So I mentioned that I saved the listings as HTML files. This was one of them because I thought as soon as I saw this, the listing would get pulled. So I just immediately saved the whole fucking thing. I haven't checked. Part of me thinks this they listing is They have the probably... orgy chamber. Well, yeah. You gotta have one. That's how things worked in these days. Also, take a look at the, um, the hot tub. Has these fake gold bullion steps. Cat, you know, take your eyes off this over here. I'll put a mouse cursor over it. In fact, let me... Where is the... Let me help y'all out here. Let me clothe him a little bit. As I was saying, <laughs> the gold bullion over here is kind of peculiar. <laughs> Wasted the throne room joke. <laughs> dead ferns? Oh, that's actually a good point. Those things are dead as hell, I think. Man. <laughs> oh, goodness. Scrub to another picture here. But elsewhere in the house is kind of, uh, we are, we already saw the, uh, the main one-two punch of this image here. The rest of it is kind of just gold, you know. There's SPQR again. I don't know exactly what that is. They're big on that, aren't they? Hmm. Anyway, Centurion's up here. Is a Rome thing? Ah. Uh -huh. Whoa, the sheet. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Steve pisses quite radically. Ah, uh, yes. What's going on with this chair? Is this pers I'm sorry, my my eye my eyes are doing a thing right now, and I'm trying to. Uh... Oh, those were those were just towels. I think those weren't those weren't actual bills of cash. Those were just towels. 
with, um, you know, Franklin's face on them, I believe. <laughs> Hang on a second, folks. My eyes are usually, whenever I have a migraine, my eyes have a little thing that they call an aura, which is when it starts going cross-eyed. So I'm just pausing for a moment to rub my eyes because I don't want a migraine kicking in. There. My eyes okay? Maybe. Okay. That's why I'm kind of pausing for a moment because I'm noticing I'm losing the ability to read. So I'm like, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Might be okay. Is this Steve's fault? Shit. <laughs> the same 15 props. <laughs> I mean, Devek, we are seeing a lot of repeats of the exact same rugs and busts. I mean, it's either that or this guy just ordered like 15 sets of everything off of like um, Alibaba or AliExpress or something, you know? Because, yeah, a lot of this stuff does seem to just be repeating. Like this rug pattern on this really cheap, flimsy rug, that's repeated everywhere. Crappy CRT, yep, right over there. But backyard, eh, whatever, whatever. <laughs> oh, that's the actual real gold? Oh, we just thought it was spray painted, man. Check out this one-of-a-kind property design for luxury. 3,700 square feet, four bedrooms, two and a half bathroom, three car garage. Okay, so they didn't show us the inside of the garage. So it is basically three, three car spaces. I think there's actually an article on this guy. I feel like when this came up before it really blew up, um, I saved the URL and then a couple days later, I saw an article where they actually grabbed this guy. Bonus room, I do like the implication. Bonus room, theater, or office. The possibilities are endless with this with this home. Endless, you say? Hmm. Let me see. Well, let me see. Let me double check my notes here. What is... Okay. So, folks, I have grave news. This is a bad time for it to happen because that was, that was the end of the warm-up houses. I'm rubbing my eyes at the moment because this... I hope tonight does not kick me. I hope I'm not kicking myself in the ass because the very next section is the the violent colors section. And I'm like, oh no, my eyes, please, please don't do this to me. <laughs> I may have set my own trap. Shit. Poking the hell out of my eyes. Stop doing that. Read. Read. Come on. Just a second, folks. Just closing my eyes and rubbing them for a second. I will be reading in a moment. I'm broadcasting this because as this gets worse, I kind of lose the ability to read. So I'd be kind of like, what's everybody saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, eyes. Okay. Ooh. Staring at a wall. My highly decorated wall that I definitely don't have Roman centurion busts upon. Definitely don't have a GEOP rule sign above my computer desk. I'm definitely not looking at that. Okay. Staring at the wall. I definitely don't have popcorn ceiling either. I know that's kind of a bane inside here. I actually really don't. Anyway. Okay. Text to speech it. <laughs> okay. So now, what is next on this? Okay. Okay. Next one I just described as, um... The next one's just called Pick an Aesthetic, Please. And that's all what my note is. Now let me... Let me see. Where's my OBS window? There you are. Let me... There we go. That is there. Scaling. Scaling. I think scaling's okay. This, this should snap to the left in a moment. This is actually a very cheap house. It is... Uh, where is this? So here's here's the thing. This This is... Okay, this is Buffalo, New York. The house is only 136,500. If you, if, I mean, square footage is about 1450. So I'm kind of like, okay, well, it's, yeah. I mean, spoilers, the interior has some problems on the decoration front, but otherwise, the house itself doesn't seem that bad. So I'm looking at the price tag now and I'm like, New York? Ah, is it? Yeah, sorry, it's a compilation. Hang on. Let me... I think that's better. Okay, thanks for the heads up. Some of these compilations don't normalize the audio, so sometimes it gets a little out of control. Where's my Twitch? There it is. Ba -ba. So... Let's, uh, let's peek our nose indoors, see what's going on here. So, um, the aesthetic here 
is very peculiar. It's got like a 50s style aesthetic. Mid-century modern. Is that the is that the vernacular? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There, there's 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 kit there's 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 kitchen carpet. Carpet kitchen. Right, we're gonna have to get that out of the way. <laughs> the uh the burnt orange trim is a little unusual, but whatever. The ceiling, this is an office style ceiling, but the ceiling tile is that's, that might be okay commercial ceiling. Well, Armadillo, there was actually a house that I looked at um, the other day that actually did have that commercial style tiling that's like, you know, very iconic to uh, soul-crushing office locations. I was seeing that and I was like, ooh, why is this inside of a regular house? You know, it's kind of like, oh, whatever. The walls have like this, I don't know, it's like a lamp. The, the, the walls have very cheap laminate sort of material on them. But we move into the kitchen and we've got brickwork, a little peculiar. This just starts getting to a mishmash of things. Don't don't look here, don't look here, don't look in the bottom left. Yeah, the 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 actual rough that's the thing. Backsplash of like a rough brick material seems very that's not very clean looking. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I figured you'd want to have something like crisp and clean up here. I mean, not necessarily brighter color, but like, this is so rough and ugly and stuff. And this just looks... Mm -hmm. Also the drawers. This is something else that kind of grabbed me. When I saw the drawers, I thought they were like padded or something. You see what I mean? They just look so strange. But yeah, this is... It's a little unusual. But uh, maybe br it's brighter in the past. I don't know. It's weird. It's not original to the house, but it's weird. But not, not weird bad. Just, uh, okay. The elephant in the room. The other room, actually. Also, what's going on with this trim? Hold on a second. The trim can't make up its mind. We, we're going to a black trim in the next room, but it's orange here, and it's black here. Let me take a drink and avert my eyes for a moment while I gauge what the lag is here. <laughs> Barf. Yep, there it is. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's a lot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot, a lot. And the blue chair, I do appreciate the blue chair. It gives a bit of a splash. The ceiling has a uh, concrete aesthetic? Concrete aesthetic. Clockwork orange set. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's uh, very weird. Also, it's not just regular purple. It looks like it actually has a pattern on it. You see what I'm talking about? Or am I going cross-eyed again? It's got some sort of a weird random pattern or splash on it, it seems. It's hard to tell. Yeah. Okay, okay. Windows 95. Um, fart kilometer, please bear that analogy in mind, just as a heads up. That's not a threat, that's just a suggestion, you know? Another shot of the room, a little wider. Like, uh, okay, okay, it's not my kind of house, but whatever, you know? This feels like the set from, like, um, a Bond movie. I don't know. Like, like where a villain is sitting or something and talking and conspiring with his friends. I don't know. There's something about it that's speaking to me about it. I don't know what it is. Or Austin Powers. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, the caricatures. Yeah, I saw those. I was trying to... I think I, I, think I see what you're talking about. <laughs> it's, uh... Yeah, it's a very... That's it. It's Inner Sanctum vibes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of curious what the listing says. I usually don't read the listings. So when I'm reading them after looking at a house, it's usually something that's... Um, new to me as well. Also, just a ja a jazz piece over here. Anyway, ooh, a bit of a a bit of a uh, a cleanser for your eyes. That's just busy. Yeah, it's interesting. All that color now. This is just really, really textured and busy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, my eyes. <laughs> um, and we're like that. We're back in a room that's more like the um. It's more like the dining room again. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is going places. But you see the uh, what is it? The cheap laminate sort of stuff they got on the walls too. That looks so uh, tacky. Motel room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mostly just some bedrooms here on the back end. You open the door without hitting the bed. Oh, I'm sure you can. I'm trying to. Um, this one probably, probably. This one, no, you'd hit the bed. Also, notice the bat right here. <laughs> I do like that you have just a bat by the bedside. It's something you, you see, hear about in like movies and things like that. And just to see it in person is interesting. But, ooh, is this a hallway? Yeah, this is a hallway, I think. That's just in case the burglar picks that room. But this is, this is actually just a side room. I thought it was a hallway, but no, it's just a side room. Tiny room for the tiny man. And there's also a driveway to uh, a garage, which, I mean, this is this is a pretty nice selling point for some folks. I mean, your own freestanding garage. I just don't understand why this is just 136000 Also, this is 
A basement? I forgot about this. There's a basement, y'all. I don't know where this is. If this is under the house or if it's under the garage. Uh, I guess the house, probably. That's peculiar. Yeah, it's also got the very, uh, we're moving more towards the, the office-style ceiling stuff here. <laughs> Yeah, and laundry area. Here's a humble turlet. Yeah, need a whole picture for that toilet. Need this for making our decisions. But what is... This was sold. I mean, given the price of that, I mean, showing behind immediately... Wait, showing behind... Be, showing... Be, ugh, hang on, my eyes. Showing begin immediately for the beautiful... What? Am I misreading that or hang on? <laughs> Still looking for more to get, more to love? Oh my goodness. Man cave. <laughs> hang on a second. Well, that's where you go... <laughs> I've never heard of a she shed before. What the hell? A she shed? <laughs> the obvious pull. I appreciate it. <laughs> she shed seashells by the seashore. Oh, goodness. Well, folks, um, <laughs> very briefly, need a break. I need to go rest my eyes for like one or two minutes because I was having... But price of this shed be full. Hang on. I, now that my eyes, I'm looking back at the sentence again. And I was like, what? Showing begin immediately for the following. Am I reading that correctly? Either way, I need to go AFK for a moment just to pull my eyes away. I just need like one or two minutes just to recenter them. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, I am glad it didn't stop quite yet because I ever track the weather with my migraines. No, I mean, the thing that usually, not to go into it too much, the thing that got me for the longest time was the fluorescent lights inside of offices. So like when I had my, um, when I had access to my own office, I would like have the light off and I would have like an LED light at my desk and people made fun of me about it, but they found very quickly that when I was somewhere for a long amount of time with those office fluorescents, it would be like a once a month thing where I would have to be just, you know, out for a day or two. But since working from home, I mean, I get maybe it starts to get set off once maybe every two months and it's something I can avoid by just stepping away, you know? But it's always it's always visual and it's very rare. But I don't want to ramble about it because the next house, oh, oh, it's a bit of a, it's a spectacle, let me tell you. In fact, maybe I can change the music. What is something I could pull up that's a little catchier? You know, I'm a bit of a basic boy, so I'm going to go for... Feeling city pop. Very predictable, I know, but what can I say? I likes what I like. Where's the one that I've used in the past? I will watch the OBS levels. It's going to be a little faint, but it's there. Okay, okay. I was really excited about this next one because, um, how do y'all feel about laser tag? It's back, baby. It never left, actually. It was just sitting there inside of that old strip center that nobody went to, but it was coming back. I kept telling y'all for years, laser tag was coming back. It is here. I miss it so. Blessed, blessed laser tag. This is wild. I don't know what the plan is here, but this rules. <laughs> Rave room. <laughs> I'm also just looking at all these little LEDs, these little strips here, they got going up and down the stairs. This is, the more I'm looking at this, the more I'm loving it. And I already did love it, just to be clear. Pizza Planet from Toy Story. Yeah. <laughs> Roller Arcade. Oh man, gold. That gold Luna, that reminds me, there was actually a, uh, they had one of those when I was growing up too that closed down, but I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh my goodness. Are there, are roller rinks still a thing? I feel like those were everywhere when I lived. Like when I was growing up in like, you know, the particularly the 90s that I remember, there were several locally, but they all closed down. Still some. <laughs> Can we also appreciate how different the exterior is? I don't want to say unassuming, because it is very, it is still unique, you know? <laughs> it's, it's peculiar, but it's also like, you wouldn't look at this and think, oh yeah, that's TJ's laser tag right there. <laughs> Oh God, gold again. Oh Christ, we're back. Folks, I'm sorry. I forgot about this. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. That's not a Garfield, that's a tiger. Also, this is... Okay, I guess that's just... Okay, I guess they just have acrylic or glass or something on that. Okay. Same building, yeah. Yeah, same building. Where's the laser tag ring? We already came from a gold house. You can't... You can't impress us with this. Yeah, the pharaoh statues. I'm hoping we get a better shot of those. Uh, kitchen? It's okay. The window's a little... The window's interesting. Can't see through it, though, so maybe it's just for lighting purposes. Um, uh, presumably this is the same place, covering up that bit of butt. <laughs> Way too hot. 
First Steve, now this. Then we had the dimple butt earlier on. Very clean. Huh. Okay. Okay. The face in the painting is pogging, is it? I don't think I see it pogging. I'm not seeing it, if so. They're kind of turned away, and there's somebody else down here that's like keeled over. I don't see it. But then again, we all see what we want to see in art. Oh, this! Oh, shit! I didn't see the third face. <laughs> I see it now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow. Now I believe we get back to the wild colored area in a bit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're in Tron now, folks. Welcome to the, the Tron shower? That's all I can think of. Yeah, it's just the Tron bathroom. You wash all of your shapes and your lights in here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> the gamer shower. I'm looking at how deep this is. I mean, I, I'm I'm a little confused because I don't see a drain. Is this this isn't a shower? Because there's something here, something here. I don't see a nozzle for a shower head, <laughs> a bathing cube. The longer I look at this, the less I know about it. <laughs> Perfect dark training. <laughs> Only explanation, you know. I'll believe it. I'll believe it. You think the train the drain is cut off, you think? Maybe. Hey, why why are we getting so many butts in here? No, madam, got to cover that up. There's a lot of those tonight. Boy, this is a scandalous Sunday. Also, I, I also this is every time I want y'all to know that anytime there's a weight room on screen, I'm like judging it and going through it in my head. I don't even what? Sorry, this just looks clunky. Also, they, this does it's not important to them because they're using, like, what is that, a 5? I was kind of looking over here. I was like, do you even have a 45, my guy? Those are 2-inch Those are two inch bars. So I was looking at those, like, those aren't 1-inch plates. Those are 2, eh, whatever. We're inside of um, a gaming room? Yeah, fair brand. I only saw one 45. The other is probably, like, a doorstop or something. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, we're in space now. I hope you brought your helmet. So this is actually a gambling room, it looks like. So this is like a dealer side here. This is also dealer side. It's not in Vegas, though. This is L.A. Okay, I, for I forgot. Okay, folks, I forgot to mention the location and the price. This is in L.A., and this is $11 million. So if you were ready to slap down some money, you may have to pinch a couple more bills, just as a heads up. So uh, four bed, six bath. Yeah, sure, it is $11 million. Four beds, six bath, 5,300 square feet. 11 million. Now, that, that's because part of that is probably from the lasers, because laser tag, that, that technology, that don't come cheap. That went extinct in, uh, in the 90s, so... Uh, <laughs> this was a repeat picture, so I just skipped past it. Okay, also, um, I've never heard of laser dancing with pole dancers, but I imagine it'd be interesting. I'm okay with that. Adult laser tag, sure. Wait, is that a bed? That's a bed. I'm just kind of taking in the wall art now. Got a couple feet peeking out there. Got a planet and... Whoa, what the? What's going on here? Did we just like... Did we Did we just... What is that? Kintsugi? Did we just Kintsugi the wall? Why is, the, why is there gold stuff in here? Torso ceiling? Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> It is very sinister. I'm trying to parse what's going on here. Oh, I didn't see I didn't see the bodies or the the uh, the the mannequins merged into the wall. <laughs> I was more so taken aback by the uh, the weird shape on the ceiling and just this slope over here. What's the purpose of this? Milk bar from Clockwork Orange. Mm. Yeah, those are titties. Those are those are titty busts. Oh, they've got several of them. There's a lot of titty busts. Also, this, this, okay, so this is the ceiling torso someone was describing. I, I wasn't quite getting what they were saying, and I was like, must have been on the previous screen or something. I'm not sure what the purpose of this is. I mean, it's one thing to have a sinister corner. It's another, it's like, why do you have this slope? You're wasting a portion of the room doing this. Um, what's the backstory? here. I mean, the lobby being like a laser tag room, it's like, yeah, sure, whatever, laser tag. This is, I don't know what the purpose or the narrative here is. I looked at this, I'm like, oh, maybe they played board games, but like, no, that, that couldn't be it. That's not even a D20, that's a D something, that's a D's, D's nuts, I don't care. It's something though. Narrative is tits. Mm, cocaine chic. Well, we've got more, we got more, we got more, um, ceiling titties in here. This is, uh, is this, I think we're in the Underdark. Is that what it's called in D&D? Is this Underdarky or not quite? Actually, Underdark, isn't that like pitch black or something? This is something. The Lava Room. Okay. 
<laughs> Underdark, but with tits. Fair enough. Um, I think this is, I think this is a hot tub. I'm trying, <laughs> the underboob. <laughs> I'm trying to... Are these lights? It's like this is a descent into madness. I didn't quite absorb this when I looked at it first. So now that I'm looking at it with y'all, I'm kind of like, wait, 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 wait. I don't understand. I mean, I understand even less now. There's a ceiling. There's a pool on the roof. You can see the city. How many lady mannequins? I don't know. There's, there's astroturf on the roof. There's a bed on the roof. There it is. Man. <laughs> Well, I mean, $11 million. Do they talk about the ceiling busts? Hang on. Located above the famous Sunset Strip. Okay, that's why part of why it's expensive. It's also a huge amount of land. It's an eight-level custom-built, four-bedroom, six-bath, one-of-a-kind, entertainer's dream home situated behind gates with ultimate privacy. The penthouse suite has been has direct access to the rooftop deck with amazing city views. This open suite has a spacious walk-in closet with luxurious soaking tub. I'm trying I'm looking for like keywords where they try to explain these mannequins. But are they just gla glazing over all this stuff? Moroccan tent. Yeah. What about what about the busts? What about the roof busts? Must see. <laughs> Selling it as is. Mm -hmm. I didn't quite recall those a couple of those pictures descending into madness quite like that. Oh, uh, we did see a kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was uh, early on. It was uh, right here. But that is, I think, the only kitchen. Yeah, because the other is a just a side bedroom. And then we got then we got into the weird, weird, and progressively weirder stuff. Oof. I would have loved a 3D tour of this place to be honest with y'all. So it is still for sale, of course. No bites yet. But, you know, I think it's just a matter of time, personally. Let's see here. What's the oldest listing detail we have here? Um, eight and a half million in 2019, and it's kind of hiked up ever since. What was this built? Built 1990. It's right at the edge of cocaine decor, though. I mean, there is a... Let me see here. Let me double check my notes. Might be able to get to one of those tonight. That was for the laser tag. I did mention briefly that, um... We could, I think Fart Kilometer, you made uh, some mention of a uh, Windows XP sort of thing. My note for this was, um, for this next one was, let me see, I pop at the square footage. Oh yeah, this, oh, it's even bigger than what the picture said. Oh wow. So this is, this is the full plot as well outside, I guess. Windows 95 3D maze screen save, yeah. So um, my note for this next one, this is one that I actually, the list I've picked up across, you know, I've just added to over the past month or so. So some of them are fresh, some of them are old. This one actually picked up earlier today when I was going through what to look at and I titled it 90s FPS because the, um, well, let's just go ahead and hop in. Hey, bad man. The houses are, um, they're on the market still if you want them. <laughs> That's about all I got, to be honest with you. Wait, I gotta stretch this picture up a lot. Hang on a second, folks. OBS doesn't make the, these tiny pictures easy to handle. Okay, this'll work. <laughs> the blue key? Maybe. Maybe. So, um, this house was, uh, let me see. Palm Springs, California. 450,000. It was two bed, three bath, about 2,300 square feet. Now I'm looking at this on OBS stretched out because this is a tiny, tiny picture originally. So I'm there's maybe some stuff that I can make out a little better now. Enhance, enhance. Real wide garage. A double two car garage, it looks like. Bike lanes, what the heck are those? My God. It's around the exterior. So the, the front door already has some character to it. I guess that's just, those are just metal bars, I think. Bible blaster. <laughs> I think those are two, um, two car doors, strong bad man. Unless my eyes are kind of throwing me off again. Anyway, welcome to level one. You need to find the blue key. Good luck finding it. <laughs> yep. Is that a ceiling mirror or is it a matching? I think you're, okay, that is a ceiling mirror. Okay, you're right. Hmm. Yeah, this is Wolf 3D. So, um, I'm losing myself in the hallway. Ooh. Entry, okay, entryway we walked in. This is, this is somewhere connected to the entryway. Hmm. Are we in mirror hell again? So, oddly enough, uh, this was the picture where I thought 90s FPS. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> 
I would let John Romero talk about it at length until he was done out of respect. It's the it's the Wolfenstein 3D color version blue. This is the color blue you would have in the UI tables. Yeah, the tables, the tables. I don't know about the um, the graphics on the tables, but I mean, it's 3D art. It's not sprite based. So you we, it has that going for it. So this is a, this is a Quake era table here, I guess. Oh, uh, the, um, I ran it in compatibility mode. I don't know why the texture is not popping in. Maybe it'll come in when we get a few screens in, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't notice that. I didn't notice the color of these. Well, my health, my health is feeling kind of low. I may shotgun this right now. Mana. Well, my brain juice has been out for ages. Anyway, we got a mirror on the roof again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think those are candy jars, Bellophane or Bellophone. Airplane bar room. Yeah, this is like the United or the Continental Club that they never let you into. And just pink chairs? Okay. We still have the entryway artwork bleeding in here. Is this perspective or is that a... I think it's perspective. I think it's a normal size table. Okay, that's a mirror wall, is it? I think it is. Yes, yes, because this is this is lit, I believe. I don't mean that lit as an expression. I mean this is quite literally lit up. And I think this mirror is reflecting a bit of a blue hue to it. Yeah, yeah, the table lights up. I mean, I like the pendant lights, but... Uh, <laughs> it also is lit, sure. Okay, okay. Somebody else was in charge of the uh, the decorating with the pillows, I guess. Mirrored electri electrical su outlet. Let me see. Tiny piano. I'm kind of craning my neck over the microphone because, like I said, this is a uh, blown up that I'm looking at in OBS at the moment. Okay, and the kitchen. Um, I have grave news, friends. We've got a freaky kitchen. I don't even know what this pattern is. It's uh, yeah. I'm not a fan. If we time travel, tell me what decade we're in. I think you're okay. Yeah, I'm starting to my brain's starting to pick it apart. I think you're right. That's basically a plaid <laughs> normal ass ceiling old oven covers. Yeah. Yeah. I've got the nice faux wood grips. When I, this actually looks like an oven when I was growing up in a, the house we lived in when I was a kiddo, the oven looked very much like this. So this is actually kind of nostalgic. I like it. A little further into here. Okay, so there's the blue room over there. At least I think we only have one blue room, right? Okay, another shot of the kitchen. It's got dual oven. Dual oven's nice. Little TV. Honestly, I think the fisheye is really skewing things a lot here because some of the heights are really... I don't know. Ancient microwave? Yeah. <laughs> the wood trim, the wood, uh, the wood uh, laminate or trimming or whatever isn't helping matters. I really don't like that plaid and just the way it's splayed everywhere. And we've got something else on the left over here. Look at this. The trim in the dials really takes me back. I like it. I like it. That's me. But I, we got something else here brewing on the left. <laughs> Yeah, we have to investigate that to unlock the secret closet. Okay, that's just the remainder of the room. Bathroom. Oh, eh, oh, eh. I don't know what's going on with the shower curtain. Is that just a shutter? I think it's just a sh sliding... Or is that the wall? Wait, that's wallpaper. Yes. Okay, I thought for a second that was a shower curtain, and I was like, what the shit? Yeah, that's wall. Oh, bird. They come with the house. Mirrored polka dot wallpaper. What a cursed set of words. <laughs> So, they, I will say this, they do like that color of blue. It's kind of like a house of mirrors, yeah. It's not It's not the worst house of mirrors we've had, but it's 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 troublesome, definitely. Ooh, we've got a new, new, new pattern dropped in a, a tree, okay? You take a drink. Hmm. And monkey, yep. <laughs> I don't even know if that tree's real, and it's like, dude, get me out of here. Stole somebody's ape, boy. Hmm. <laughs> It's okay, I, I, Sonderval, I can still read. We're still, we're still good. If I lose the ability to read, that's when we need to start worrying. This is definitely not helping matters, though. <laughs> What's that on the tree in the last picture? Uh, mm, is it just another? It's not another monkey. I see what you're looking at. I don't really know what it is. Yeah, it's something. Anyway, the bed has underlighting. Highway legal, probably. But yeah, here's another shot. I guess I want you all to appreciate how this palm tree is leaning and that you just have the 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 perspective and the angle are throwing it off but this is still absolutely in the way like it's not it's not blocking the door or the room quite as much as it looks like but this is still very much in the way it's just such a <laughs> whatever this is uh, this is fake i'm sure they just can't get it to sit up straight but whatever oh yeah the door is wallpapered you're right Ooh. <laughs> 
tree menaces. Anyway, uh, carpeted bathroom with the same pattern and a, uh, a hell mirror that just keeps on going and going and going. Oh, my eyes. Oh. Hey, Beatus. <laughs> Backseating streams. Boy, have I got news for you. This is a choose your own adventure. The only way is to go forward and have your eyes screwed up and get a migraine. Oh my goodness. I'm okay with backseating. We're in the bathroom. Don't don't back shit in here, okay? This bathroom has carpet, okay? It's right there. If you need a moment, just let me know. Yeah, this this is a this is basically a doom wad right here, y'all. This is... Wait, is that, a, is that an oh shit step right outside of this? Oh my goodness. What was Beatus up to? I mean, uh, actually I can make sure, I can find out if this works properly. Did I fix? Hey, it works. It's picking up the game name. Fantastic. It wasn't working yesterday. I don't know. Where's my window? Thanks for swinging by. I hope you had fun, Beatus. I didn't catch the randomizer. Was, was Beatus just doing a regular um, rando run or was he doing a full um, Metroid and... Link to the past, rando. Oh, hang on a sec. I'm rubbing my eyes. Poop in the tank washer. Yeah. Oh, a race. Ooh. How'd that go? <laughs> oh God. Oh, the wallpaper's different again. Oh my goodness. We need to escape this house. <laughs> Why even the headboards? Oh my God. You're right. There are headboards. What the hell? What is this? What the shit? I'm confused. I mean, we have a nightstand that's blending into the carpet, and is that reflecting? Maybe it's reflective. Maybe it's reflective. The walls look moldy. <sighs> that's just that's just a mold wallpaper, I'm afraid. We've got another one? Okay, fine. <laughs> they keep pulling out more, more, te more textures. I'm confused. This is the first time we've seen this one. Cheese grater. This is, this is reminding me of a really cheap tie texture. Not tie texture. God, tie fabric. Tie, tie pattern. Ties don't have textures. Well, they probably do. That comes down to the fabric it's made out of. Whatever. Anyway, we're back outside. Terrible house. Terrible house. I kind of miss laser tag, but I mean... <sighs> since folks came in here from Beatus' stream, let me actually... Okay. Let me actually briefly... For the folks who came in from Beatus and the folks who came in, let me um, show you something very fast. Let me go back to the previous, and we'll just go through this real fast as a recap. Yeah, this is... Uh, you missed a laser tag haul, y'all. Um, I, I want you to- we're, we're gonna come back to this, okay? Most of the house, like the exterior, is kind of weird. <laughs> don't spoil it, don't spoil the cave. <laughs> but going through it, it's kind of like, well, it's kind of- it's not- it's not the greatest. And then you move into like a Tron, um, a Tron shower. And then the gambling room, okay, we're moving back to the laser tag. Okay, we're in the laser tag. There's a stripper pole. There's, there's a, oh, this is actually near the, uh, the Sunset Strip, or Sunset Strip, Sunset Plaza, Sunset Plaza, LA. And this is, uh, this is an $11 million home, so. <laughs> it might be within swinging distance of some of y'all. Is this a bedroom? It is a bedroom. But also, um, there's also a, um, uh, um, an aesthetic that kicks in toward the end where they have mannequin busts that are uh, molded into the walls and the ceiling and um, maybe a fuck room. Maybe a fuck room. The fuck room is coming up actually. This is probably a fuck room because we're getting into, I think we're standing in a jacuzzi. We're not staying in a jacuzzi. We're ascending something. Um, this is an altar and that's that's, that's about uh, we're, it's it's very confusing y'all. <laughs> Yeah, the ceiling. I mean, the, the, I missed this one last time. There's another one right here. There's just so many of them. I mean, we did have Steve's house. That was one thing, but this is just, this is, this guy had some sort of connection to get this many mannequins. Okay, what is, what is next in the listing? Oh yeah, the price is 11 million bucks. Very affordable. I'm sure we could have people jumping at that. It's still on the market if you have the, t if you have uh, the inclination. Let me see. Okay, 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 y'all. The next one, I'm hoping the next one won't be as, as bad. What was my description for this one? The next few are a little, I left it a little vague. This one is just quote unquote lively interior. 
What did I mean by this? What did I mean by this? What did my notes mean? Lively interior. Let's see what past Geop was talking about. Not a train station. Okay, just a little, little bit turquoise. Winter time. This is a, oh yeah. Um, this is an old listing. It doesn't have the price listed here up front, but afterward we can dig into it, maybe see if there's some price history. But it is in um, New Mexico. Three bed, three bath, 3250 square feet. Hey, so this has some interesting designs inside of it, but also it gets into some weird colors. Yeah, snow, New Mexico. Yeah, it's, this is this is interesting, but the I remember distinctively colors start going wild in here. Not neon colors, but well, actually, Actually, wait, I take that back. I think there are neon colors. I'm not being coy. We do have some lively colors coming up, I think. That rug or floor? This is flooring. This is actually very nice hardwood. I, li I like the work they did here. This is interesting. Very, a very handsome entryway. I thought this was an armoire, but it's actually, uh, this is the flight upstairs? Okay. <laughs> Welcome! Before we go too much further, we should explore the side rooms. Is this your guest room? Um, a den, possibly? Okay. This is your kitchen slash dining room. Eh, the antlers are a thing. It is what it is. Okay. Get which tribe? Hmm. So. I, the, the, once someone pointed out the snow, when I, th I didn't make the connection of the state and the snow, so I'm just kind of thinking about that, kind of like, wow, this must be pretty special. But there's some parts of the house, it's like, eh, it's, it's just, it is what it is. It's a very, you know, eh, whatever. The bathroom, though, things start hmm, sticking out a little bit. This is different. What's with the pillar? What's with the pillar? Yeah, we're getting to the opulence a little bit. A little bit. Hmm. There is a fisheye in effect here. So bear that in mind because it is making this... It is making the sink and this mirror do all sorts of wonky stuff. Hmm. I think it's a back scratcher. Okay, a brief shot of the outside. A chicken coop. Let me see. I'm wondering if I have this mixed up in my notes. I may have it mixed up with a different house. Is this a dud house? I'm thinking there's got to be some reason I put this in here. Oh, there it is. Okay. That's why it was in here. That's where it was. I was like, Geop, did you put a boring house in here? I'm like, nope, here it is in one of the last pictures. Okay. I mean, um, my acting was perfect. There you go. I caught you. Aha. Which this is probably, this is probably a kiddo's room. They probably said, yeah, sweetheart, paint however you want. And they kind of went ham. <laughs> That's probably what happened here. Oh. Maybe, maybe it's a guest thing? I don't know, because the kitchen, there's a, there's a half kitchen that's, I guess, yeah, technically a, technically a full kitchen, but we're back to the neons again, folks. Mmm, children knives. Exactly. It's very peculiar. But that's actually the last picture. <laughs> that goose fucks. Probably. They usually do do that, right? I don't know how geese work. Historic Taos Territory Compound. Okay. Known originally as... Casa Romero. Well, the previous house was a Romero wad, but this is Casa Romero, so there we go. Corner oasis with mature landscaping sits just off the main plaza and the center of town. Also includes two colorful standalone casitas. Yeah, okay. So those are guests then, yeah. A 1,200 square foot artist studio known as the Chicken Coop. I thought there was an actual chicken coop. I was stoked that we'd get to see chickens. Interesting. Do we have anything in the way of prices? Ooh, last listed and sold for about 1.9 million. I don't know what pricing's like in New Mexico, but that's a little north of what I was expecting. Boy. <laughs> I guess there's one way to make sure the guests don't stay too long, just make it harmful on the eyes. Yeah, it looks like it was sold for about 2 million, though. Um, let me see, what's next? Okay, okay. There's a there's a quirk to this next one. Maybe there is something y'all can think of here that I'm not thinking of but um there's something about this house's design in certain places taking taking the whole thing together as one big picture there's some there's something consistent and i'm just trying to figure out what why i'm not going to say it but you will probably sp some of y'all will probably spot it relatively early let me get this situated okay there we go and this is in um Long Meadow, Massachusetts, 1.1 million. So it does have a bit of a toilet vibe, but there's something, um, there's something peculiar. Even in this picture, there's several cues I'm spotting that are throwing me off. I don't want to spoil it because there could be some reason that I'm not aware of. Actually, there, there are a few things that come to mind, but I don't want to spoil it. So top of the stairway. Oh yeah, five beds, seven bath. So we got a lot of shitters in this house. 7.3, 7350 square feet. Hmm, old opera. <laughs> I hope we get a better look at the exterior. Is this house symmetrical? Um, I don't know. 
but there's something very peculiar that I'm seeing in all these pictures. I may give up the ghost, depending upon how folks react here. Not the carpet, no. Hang on, there is... Some of these are nondescript rooms. Some of the geometry gets a little funky. Also, billiard table. We needed at least one. We got it. Not the weirdest interior. It is peculiar, though. And kitchen, not the worst we've seen. And this is a theater room, it seems. RGB kitchen. Yeah, it's a gamer kitchen. So, the thing I want to... I'll probably point it out. Not 50, 50s diner, yeah. <laughs> I may point it out here, but it was peculiar, and I'm wondering if maybe it's some accessibility or safety thing. But if you look inside here, there are no sharp corners that I can see. Like, if you look at the walls, corners, everything has, like, a tapered or beveled corner. It's like, let me actually go back to the beginning to get to be particular about some details. Like this over here, this is not sharp. Ultimate toddler proof, probably. The, t the tables are one thing, yeah. I mean, but it's particularly like, like almost everything that juts out from the wall, it is, it is tapered or something, and it, it is everywhere. So I'm wondering if it's some sort of an accessibility thing with maybe a kiddo or a resident or something, but it really stuck out to me because it seemed to just be designed around it, maybe. But I'd never seen anything like it before. Yeah, even this over here is tapered. It's a little more clear. Yeah, not everything, it seems, but they seem to get into it pretty hard. A style that has no 90-degree 90, 90 angles because there's a bleed. Really? Hmm. This is a wine cellar. A lot of wine. That last table... Uh, which table? You want me to go a little further back, Kinghorn? I'll sit here until I, uh, hear from ya. One more back. Okay. The, the media room? Luckily I, yeah, I was, I was also looking at the corners too. Cause it didn't look, I, I, get, I get what you're saying. It didn't look crisp, pointy corner. I wasn't sure if it was, you know, a distinct hard corner or not. Yeah, it's just, I mean, they, they try to avoid as much as possible. It was just really distinctive. You know what I mean? Does it have rounded corners everywhere, though, DVAC? Hmm. Just part of the design? I mean, even, even like here in the bathroom is kind of... It threw me off. I don't know. And this, this is a, this is, you know, this isn't the tile that's curved here. Am I, am I the one who's mistaken? No, no. The architects are the ones who are crazy. Oh yeah, this, the wine, every wine, every wine cell I've ever seen has some sort of an ominous vibe to it. That's just what I get, though. Yeah, I mean, these... We're getting back to the whole thing of the corners. This is definitely, this is definitely curved. But this is, um, it pinches off and it doesn't seem, I don't know, it, it, it's very strange to me. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> so wait, is this a, hold on. Bathtub, window, that's strange. Well, whatever. Rich people bathrooms. We've seen a lot of messed up stuff over the past few weeks. Anyway, pink room. It's not gold, it's yellow. Technically, I think that's goldenrod. But don't quote me on that. Unless I'm right. In which case you could say Giapo's right. But if I'm wrong, it's not my fault. Pink bathroom. Uh, washroom. Wall art. There we go. Wall art. Had to have some of it somewhere tonight. Was there a boombox that I missed? Oh yeah. There we go. Not a big, big boombox, but I appreciate it being there nonetheless. Okay, let me see. But that's the main shtick for this place. Won't linger too long here. Unless something else pops out to my eyes. Hey, <laughs> Grandes Caves. I'm just looking at the ceiling here. This is okay. This this adjoins to the uh, the ominous wine cellar, <laughs> rounded shitter. Yeah. Okay, and we're back in the. Oh, is that a stage? I think it's a stage. Well, whatever. A really freaky uh, spiral staircase. There we go. I was wondering if we'd have a spiral staircase tonight. Man, that is messed up. What the hell? The perspective on this is messing with my head. Well, boys, there were uh, a couple paths. We could probably get away with casking at least four people. Maybe. I think there were. Four dead ends down there? I don't know. You get creative. Oof. Okay, well, at least the above angle helps better. Oh, I see an edge. Somebody's cutting corners. Well, I mean, not, not cutting corners. These, these are actually still corners, so they didn't cut these corners, but they did. They half-assed it. Anyway. Hmm. And bedroom. And nearing the end of the photos for this house, so I'm just trying to move through it at a better, a better clip. What is going on here? Oh, th this is a bathroom with a mirrored ceiling again. We haven't seen one of these in a minute, boy. <laughs> oh boy, no thanks, no thanks. I'm good. Outside, okay, back to the outside. It isn't, it isn't symmetrical. Some folks were wondering if it was symmetrical. I do see like a, a balcony, I think, over here. So, yeah, the cone made me. Th I was looking at the cone. I was like, is that a traffic cone? What the shit is that? This this does have a business building vibe, but the unfortunate thing is the person had so much money they 
they loved the aesthetic so much they wanted to design their house like an office building, and it's like, ugh, ugh, no. God, even the exterior. It's like all those damn business parks or whatever the hell they call them. No. No. Let me see. We have any stunning contemporary home in postcard perfect long meadow You'd be amazed by the amenities of this perfect retreat a full ice cream bar i didn't see the ice cream bar but i did see the wine room majestic double staircase oh that's right 50s oh that's right the ice cream bar was the whole 50s diner thing 5,000 bottles, boy. Yeah, that was the 50s diner thing. I didn't quite click what they were talking about. You covered my ice cream bar. I was like, I was thinking for a second, I read this and I was like, I didn't see a single, I didn't even see a damn Klondike sitting out in there. You're bullshitting me. Okay, and did this, did this gravitate around just north of the 1 million mark? It looks like pretty much the charging station. Um, I don't know, we didn't see a garage. So if that was charging station for an electric car, that probably would have been in there. Hey, Emily. How's it going? Were you doing Monster Hunter, I think? Let me see. I think she was doing Monster Hunter earlier. <gasps> hey! Let me see if this still works. Emily... Uh -huh. I'm just testing that out, trying to get more regular with it, since it's cooperating. That's that house. What did I have next on the docket? Curve corners. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh... <laughs> well... Let me see. The next one, this one's not too bad, I don't think. It's a quick one. Urgh, gotta be an easier way to do this. These pictures are so squished up because they're tiny and old. Crumbles. The crumble pictures. Hey. This house, I could not live in this house. I would hit my head so many times. As you can see, there are two chandeliers. There are a lot more. There are so many chandeliers in this house. Moving forward, a slight pivot. More chandeliers. Well, how about the chandelier room? Me walking around like a damn hunchback the whole time. You're gonna be breaking something. Is that a bowl? Who knows? Ten chandeliers for the price of five. Spiral staircase. We got another one, y'all. Chandeliers in the bedroom. Gotta have them in the bedroom. This flimsy ass bed frame. Look at this. Look at this. That's gonna make. That's that, that's already squeaks so much. It's, if you just move like an inch on there, it's gonna wake up the whole damn neighborhood. And is this the same different room? More chandeliers. Why? What is with this attic aesthetic? This is like you're inside of an attic the whole time. Bathroom and bathroom has chandeliers too. There's a mirror. That's not a sink. That's the tub. <laughs> yeah, well, it's occupied. It's getting cleaned. And uh, mm, okay, so this is closet. There's your closet chandelier. No chandeliers down here. Thank Christ, lady. Hello. Painted stonework, it looks like. Yeah. A cheap cheap building of sorts. Hang on. I'm looking at the listing. This was from... This is actually in San Clemente, California. $1.4 million. Wow. I wouldn't even pay a tenth of that for this so far. Corner chandelier? Did I miss a corner chandelier? Mm. Next to picture 11. Oh. How much that's for the chandeliers? I don't know. Uh, exterior. Lawn gnomes. You know. The norm. Okay. Okay. What is... What's, what, what are the details in this house? Hang on, let me resituate this. Eh, 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 eh. There we go. Recentered. What happened here? What happened? Back on the market. A little TLC will bring this beautiful home that was once featured in Romantic Country Living magazine back to its majesty. Panoramic ocean view will amaze you. Beamed ceilings are unique. The beamed ceilings look like shit. It's like you're living in a, in a rust, a dusty old attic. I guess somebody really wanted those. They really wanted those blows to the head. Helped them with all those, uh, all those judgment calls. <laughs> oh, what in tarnation. Let me see here. So, sold for 285 back in 96, and then 24 years later, on the market for over a million north of that. The last sentence of the description. <laughs> Perfect as mother-in-law quarters. Boy. <laughs> oh, goodness. But hey, the roof is new. <laughs> Boy. Tell me what you think of your in-laws. Ah, uh, this next one. Oh, I like this next one a lot. So, so y'all, this next one is, it's something special. This one has a story, I think, or a narrative. We'll figure it out. Maybe y'all can help me here. And this is, um... <clears throat> 370,000, two bed, two bath, 1,200 square feet, 
Atlanta, Georgia. So, uh, DW, your eagle eyes picked up one of the very big problems right here, is the exposed concrete. Just exposed concrete on the ceiling, some of the walls. It basically feels like you're living underneath a parking garage. Now, thing is, it starts off here unassuming, and it slowly moves into... Th this is a very small house, it's 1,200 square feet, but there are 50 pictures. So they're doing slight pivots. And here we are in, um... I assume the master bedroom. You know, this is basically like an apartment. You know, family, closet, yeah, a condo or something. Just the cement wall as well. It's just like, oh god, this looks so bad. Is this, is this healthy breathing this? I don't know. Normal bathroom. Environmental storytelling. <laughs> so, pound town adjacent. <laughs> <laughs> and an office. Very, very hard cement wall here in the in the in the closet. Otherwise, it's like, well, it's just an apartment that's okay. It has a washer dryer, that's nice. Is that all for the listing though? There's a patio. We're running out of ideas, but where's this again? Uh Atlanta, Georgia. Listen to the curtain. <laughs> the cement is real bad. So at first <laughs> At first I was like, oh, are these mannequins? But no, these aren't mannequins. These are real people. I don't think that's a, that's not, that's not a drag queen. No, this is just an older lady. So this is, um, at first I was like a couple pictures. Okay, fine. But then it goes to this. <laughs> Get naked. Yeah, you, you just have to listen to the, uh, you have to listen to what the uh, the shower curtain's telling you, folks. I know what you mean, Borzoi. When I saw her at first, I was like, I wasn't sure, because at first I was like, is this a mannequin? But I was like, no, no, it's just a lady, an older lady. <laughs> my, uh, my description for this entry is, are we interrupting something? <laughs> Hanging out, waiting for us to leave. <laughs> It's a very bizarre setup. A brief cut back to the previous scene. Hang out here again on the balcony. <laughs> Male nipples. That's what's gonna get this account canceled, damn it. And here she is, sitting here thinking about doing laundry, I guess. Exciting. She really wanted, she really wanted to dress up for this. Really, really. This was, this was her idea, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, the lighting. It's a hard day at the, it's a hard day at the household, y'all. That's the same lady. It's very weird. <laughs> But yeah, it's just, that's the last picture, but I mean, I don't, it's so peculiar, so peculiar. <laughs> I'd never seen people so present in the photos, and she's just so loudly dressed in like the, the I Love Lucy vibes, it's, it's wild, man. But this is Atlanta, Georgia. Massive price reduction, two bed, two bath, residents with most desirable floor, pan, floor plan in the building and corner unit. Unmatched luxury and convenience improvements. Jaw-dropping sunsets, yada yada, KitchenAid, plant suite, etc, etc. <laughs> All the heavy lifting has been done for you. Now you get to enjoy it. 12 Centennial will soon be received, will so soon receive a full renovation of the lobby. <laughs> Short walk of the CNN Center. World of Coke. Ooh. <laughs> World of Coke. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. 2000 a month, though. Mm, mm, no. Enjoy. <laughs> Get naked. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hovered around the same price, pr price ballpark, though. I mean, at least there's that. It looks like it was listed for sale, so I guess it was renovated throughout 2020, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how pricing of these places are, rentals are, in um, in this part of Atlanta. But I mean, this seems to be pretty bustling heart of the city, so they could probably get away with charging that. But I mean, the uh, the hard cement walls and roof is just kind of like this looks pretty bad, y'all. Let me see here. <clears throat> I am double checking my listing. What do I have that I could look at here? Because <laughs> I'm sorry for hating on concrete. Not a fan of, of some rebar poking its nose out eventually. I mean, we have enough trouble keeping the busts merged into the ceiling. Now you want me to worry about tetanus shots? Ugh, no thanks. <laughs> what is a good poll? Okay, I think I've got something. I got something for y'all. And let me scooch this around. I'm kind of doing one-offs because uh, I do have something that we can go... Uh, several things I go into, but they're big blocks that would probably take way too long, really. So I think we'd probably just do some one-offs that I couldn't really fit into something. So this is... Uh, we're in Nevada again. 
Gardenville, Nevada. We can't escape this. We can't escape this. Armadillo, I am so glad you brought up Western. I am so glad you made a reference to a spaghetti Western. Because, yeah, we've got, uh, we've got some, we got some Old West stuff in here. So we have an, uh, an overshot of everything. And is that, a, is that a saloon? That's peculiar. Well, that's probably nothing. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> it could be a saloon. Well, here we are at the, um, beautiful pond. Taking in the view. A nice scenic bridge. This is not mini golf. We had mini golf earlier in this. I will not I will not go go mini golf twice in one night. Say what you will of me. I have standards. Nice overshot here though. In fact, Grove Tender, I don't know if you were a late arrival or not, but we did have mini golf once. <laughs> That was a genuine response. Oh, here we go. Just panhandling. Just got here three minutes ago. Well, very good call. <laughs> hey, there's somebody parked over there, y'all. You go take a look at it or something. I don't know. <laughs> it was only mini golf. <laughs> I mean, it was technically mini golf. Yeah, that is a pony. Hell yeah. And there's a guy out here playing on his guitar. Don't trust no sheriffs. Don't trust no lawmen in these parts. Don't like the. I don't like the cut of your jib putting a stick in my craw. <laughs> I will not get naked. The moment for nakedness is past. Time to draw. What sort of breed of horse is this? <laughs> this is an Elden Ring enemy. Did Elden Ring have skeletal horses? It had to have had skeletal horses, right? Well, we can go inside the saloon. There's nobody working the counter though. A black hat spotted us. That's a bad guy. Staring holes in our face. I don't trust him. I don't trust this guy at all. Oh, and a bathroom. Also, look at this little guy over here, just playing his u playing his old his uh, little guy playing his ukulele. <laughs> no peeing off the porch. Get naked. No peeing off the porch. That's what we're learning tonight, folks. Oh man, I hope it's sold as is. As a big guy, that's one patriotic bear. No black leather on that bear. Anyhow, inside of the house, we've seen houses. Eh, kitchen. This is this is this is the the boring house off to the side. We don't care too much about this house. The main attraction was the skeletons. Yeah, last picture. There we go. What do we have? Yeah, the house is nice. Just the uh, the star of the attraction was all the skeletons. Let me see. Lush 2.2 acre desert oasis adjoins public land and is dramatically landscaped with two large ponds, an island and bridge, dock, waterfall, gazebo with fire pit, and a flowing river. Energy efficient, passive solar. After visiting the saloon, stumble your way over to the sky deck. Enjoy expansive views of public land. The home is meticulously planned for. Well, they took good care of those skeletons. That, that skeletal horse looked pretty healthy. They have my respect. Let's see. What else do we have? Let me see here. Ha 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 ha. Do I want to look at a yurt? Do I want to look at a yurt? I think we want to look at a yurt. We've got we've got a, a few things we can look at real fast, I think. There's a few little cute things. This is a yurt. How's the picture scale? Pretty close. This is 195 with dash dash beds, dash dash baths, dash dash square feet. It is Belfair, Washington. Environmental Storytelling Part 2, y'all. There are a few pics inside. This is the escape yurt. This is actually really nice. I can't think of... A, the spectacle is nice. I do appreciate the uh, the hidden letter here as well. <laughs> the, the Y is for yurts. Holy shit. We solved the riddle, y'all. <laughs> yeah, this is actually really... Uh, the, I grabbed this one because it was just really interesting. I mean, this is the kind of thing that'd be fun to stay in briefly. Not, not wild about the upholstery, though. Yeah. <laughs> Luxury yurt. <laughs> oh God, Sonderval! I hate that I know what that is. Ugh, glamping. Bathroom? Well, the bathroom it says dash dash. So I don't know if we have a bathroom. The bathroom's all around us, y'all. There's a trailer nearby. I don't think it's part of the deal. There's a trail. <laughs> Pee off the porch. <laughs> That's cute. 195. Welcome to your amazing private getaway on five plus acres. Wow. Views of Hood Canal and Mount Rainier. Oh, I like that. That's interesting. <laughs> HOA fee for a yurt. <laughs> oh my God. There is one. Jesus Christ. Oh, 
I'm thinking the back of my head, whenever the stream wraps up, we were going to go over to Arcade Pit. We've still got, we've still got a few houses to look at, but I was thinking the back of my head, I keep thinking of raid messages and they keep getting bumped down every single time we see something else. Like one of them was like, no peeing off the porch. And now it's like, what's the HOA fee for your yurt? And now I'm just, I'm there was another one that I've already forgotten. God. <laughs> The YOA, <laughs> Steve's Palace, <laughs> that too, yeah. No, no, it was, it was Steve's Place. It wasn't Steve's Palace. That's, that's the, th let me see here. Hang on a second. Where was the, it was Place, okay. So um, the reason I picked Yurt is because um, I wanted to go through very briefly some houses with evil vibes, possibly. Let me ask you, what do you think about grain silos? Are grain silos technically yurts? They aren't, but I think you should think about it. I mean, think about it this way. What if you want to make a hobby on offloading Milo and Sorghum to like 18 wheelers that come by? There are no shoots, so you have to have like some shovels to do it yourself. You could also do soy if you want, but that stuff stinks to high hell. And it probably rains a lot around here. You have to also, also have to keep an eye out for rats that'll get inside there. But um, otherwise, grain is exp it is explosive as hell. It is. But thankfully, this is only like a one-story grain silo. Oh, this is uh, Christiansburg, Virginia. It was right at 200,000. Three bed, two bath? Hmm. Well, hold on. I see four yurts. <laughs> Silos of annoying. <laughs> A, y a yurt is basically a silo. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the pitch on that hill. I love it. Okay, so they are connected. They aren't fully separate. Okay, they're at the edge of a hill, but I'll give that to you, Fair Brand. I appreciate the creativity. Oh, this fireplace has seen some work. It looks like. Yeah, it looks like. Uh, it looks like they're all attached together. It's like um. Uh, it's like a uh, what is it? There's like a Pokemon that's like all metal and orby, and it has several other ones that are attached to it. It's one of those situations. Kitchen's pretty cheap. I mean, it's a two hundred thousand dollar home. This I don't know where this is relative to the sticks, but uh, yeah, it's like the counters looks like a pretty cheap laminate of some sort. Huh. Something. It is. It's quirky. I like it. I know there's probably a lip here, but it's kind of strange to me to see the shower elevated, you know? I know you have a drain there, but I figured you'd want to have that lower or something. But this looks like it's it has a tiny lip here. <laughs> oh yeah, 90s McDonald's, yeah. We haven't had a Pizza Hut roof situation tonight, but that's, that's absolutely like a fast food 90s flooring thing. Pretty much the sticks. Uh, I gotcha. Well, think of how many sticks you could store inside these um, these these yurts. Not a bathroom. What is that? I don't understand why there's a sink there. Yeah, this this floor is super scraped up. This is also probably waxed and wetted and cleaned and stuff. When that dries better, I mean, yeah. Also, like right here, that's that's scoured and scraped. Yeah, there's a bathroom sink, but uh, hmm. oh, <laughs> okay. So there's a, a clo there's a closet bath there's a closet toilet and. Wash your hands here. Okay, that's peculiar. That's this is the bathroom yurt. Mature trees, half bath, expansive back deck. Become the next. The ne oh my god, this sounds like a curse or some sort of a dark bargain. Become the caretaker of the historic 1920 rice house known as the hut. It was once described as the most unusual house in the world. This this is the most unusual house in the world. Oh, this is. Okay, wait. The Rice House is the most unusual house in the world. This is just the caretaker yurt. I think that's what they're saying. Working with local builder Morris C. Miller, Ethel Rice resigned. Huh. Okay, so this is Ethel Rice 1920. Definitely not Ann Rice. Okay. Okay. Different rice. Way older rice. That's that's some stale rice. Okay. Oh, did I miss something about Rhodesia? Reminiscent of a home she had when she lived in Rhodesia. What? Unique four What? Huh. What? Ah, that's wild. Well, I mean, we're on a silo kick. We, we're looking at yurts or grain silos, whatever you want to call it. How about, how about, this is not a yurt. This is more of a silo. Let me explain myself. Let me explain myself. Actually, I won't have an explanation, but yes, DW, you called it very early. This is a missile silo. <laughs> it is off the market. A hundred thousand dollars. It is in um, the Ellenberg Center, New York. One hundred thousand dollars. Hey, this missile silo has six beds, 
five baths, 3,600 square feet. Now it's a little bit of a fixer upper, but uh, okay, now let me see. I don't know what resolution these pictures are gonna settle at. I think I think we've landed at it. So I will try skewing this a bit. So um, is this rusted wall or no, that's just <laughs> no missile pass. Folks, I have bad news. We may be cursed now, but we survived we survived the cursed well of last week. Actually, I hope everybody survived the cursed well of last week. Anyway, don't touch don't guy everybody, don't touch the missile. I mean, that's not a missile. That's that's a drainage pipe. Now I know there's a little bit of dust over here, but we just, you know, clean this up. It's not a big deal. You just brush this aside. No. There's no Silent Hill siren. That's nothing. I thought I heard something too, but that's just like a little bit of tinnitus hitting me. And, uh, mm, what room is this? Uh, this is your sawhorse room where you keep your sawhorse and your, your pile of junk. Also your spare pipe. You don't want to lose that. <laughs> ah, stairway up. Okay. It gets, it gets nice snowfall. So w it is underground. What kind of missile is that? There's some clues. There's some clues in the listing. We'll get to that, though. It is a bunker. Somebody asked about a bunker. We did hit a bunker. So there we go. We won't always find a bunker, but also it comes with some rolled up uh, sh metal sheeting here. You make a lot of use for that. So you could hammer you could hammer that up and use like use it for like trim around doorways and stuff like that. Not as shiny as what we're used to. So um uh what happened to the door? I'm trying to think of what happened to the door. Like it just got <laughs> they had to cut through it. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh no, it escaped. <laughs> the good thing is that it won't come back, whatever it was. That or this is its lair, and we're catching it when it's resting. Lost the keys, probably. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this is a, a shot from the top. You do not want to fall down there. The tetanus is going to be the least of your concerns if you fall from up here. This is probably the top floor. <laughs> no missile. Yeah, yeah, nothing. You were, you guys were seeing something. Don't worry about it. Here's the stairwell we were at before looking down in case you want another angle of those beautiful stairs. And this is um an instrument room. This is where you keep all of your... Other pipes? Very interesting. <laughs> It'd be fun for Irvin exploring, I agree. It, it's very... It has character. So much character. What does that even say? I don't know. The images is zoomed up. Let me crane my neck towards the monitor, see if I can make it out a bit better. Something about air conditioning, I think? No, air something. Air decompressor? And then something below that. This looks to be the top of a, an elevator, maybe? Well, this is New York. This is just for pennies. 100,000 100, for a plot of land with a big basement and a sub-basement. That's, 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 that's a bargain. Off the market. We missed our chance, folks. 100K. Atlas missile silos are a rare piece of real estate in the world. The silo structure took hundreds of millions of dollars to build in the 60s. This one is so unique as the... Quonset Hut, or this one is unique as the Quonset Hut, original storage building, has been converted into a residence. The property is 8.7 acres, has a 7-foot chain-link fence around the gate, within the gate. Once inside the silo, it has most of the steel structures, steel superstructures that many of other silos do not. If a family wants to have a safe, have a place safe from any man-made or natural disasters, this is the place to be. Only a half day's drive from any, from many major cities in the north slash east or land your helicopter on the reinforced cement slab. All this on the northern tip of the Adirondacks. Well, I did not, I, I briefly skimmed the listing originally. I thought it was going to be trying to sell it with the aims of preservation or curiosities, but it's basically saying, hey, if you buy this place, you can survive anything here. Trust me. Sold for 20000 and 98 Listed for sale for 600000 Then it was removed. It was assessed at 100000 recently. Somebody's just trying to lowball it. Or just trying to get it off their hands at this point, I think. Yeah, because they got it. If they got it for twenty thousand in the nineties, they're just trying to. At this point, one hundred thousand would be. They'd, that'd be. Yeah. They, honestly, with everything involved, 
they'd be taking a loss at this point, <laughs> cost-wise. It's kind of interesting nobody grabbed during COVID. Somewhere to somewhere to stow all of their uh their excess of uh their excessive toilet paper collections. Let me see here. I'm glancing to my list. So two left. Which of these two should we start with? Do we want to go with the short one or the long one? Let's go with the longer one first. The finale can be the short one. Initial thoughts. Off market. 188,000. Polo, Minnesota. <laughs> well, I mean, we were already on a kick of survive survivalism, I guess. So we've arrived at a vault of some sort. Now let me see what the resolution are like on these pictures. Does this... How about over here? No, I need to shift it a bit. There we go. <laughs> this place is very odd, particularly because the more we get into this, the more questions I have about the current owners, really. So spiral staircase. We have another spiral staircase tonight, folks. Now it's kind of banged up, but it's like, well, not a comms bunker, but uh, it's I don't know what the current owners are doing with it, really. Because there's some things that are very strange here. A lot of um, a lot of electrical stuff. There's, we'll we'll read the listing as far as history on this. Unitrol. Hmm. hmm. Yeah. I was like, okay, well, it's just a a big empty place. Okay, whatever. But there's something uh, something peculiar that starts to that we come across further into this place. And we'll know it when we see it. This is the first thing. I saw this and I was like, this is very, very low resolution. We're not gonna get much clarity if I zoom in on this. I was looking at this and my note said, my note said, safe for front door. Cirque de, Cirque de Soleil shit maybe? I don't know. So it's just like, I don't, I have no idea. Sex, you think sex altar? Yeah, I, I don't. It's like they set this up for some sort of practice. You do aerial circus act. Don't trust this room. <laughs> Good to know. Because I saw this and I was like, is this like the stuff they do at Cirque du Soleil? I don't know, man. And same room, I think, turned around and facing toward a corner. And once again, I can't really zoom in on this too much. This is about as squished up as, this is about as big as we can get it, honestly, because OBS doesn't really let me zoom in on this stuff very easily. A fuck dungeon, you think? Hmm. Very peculiar doorway, but not the least of our concerns. So the, here's something else. This is a kitchen or a dining area. There are some sort of motors down here underneath where you eat. Hmm. Goth dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> the last or opposite thing on the tenant's mind. Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, this is just so strange. So strange. Anyway, it's got a gem. Comes with a bow flex. I wonder if that's included. Hmm. Yeah, there's another room. There's a, a goth toilet. We had a gold toilet. We have a goth toilet now. There's not a mirror, though. Or maybe it, maybe it's a small mirror. I don't know. <laughs> Bath doom. <laughs> uh, gl glum, if, honestly, for anything glum, I w even if those are valid, I really wonder how much and disrepair they are, to be honest with you. This whole place looks pretty banged up. I wouldn't trust much of anything up there. I'm somebody who doesn't know much about that sort of thing. I just, I look at that and I'm like, I don't trust this place. <laughs> oh, I gotcha. Okay, I understand you're talking about the hardware, yeah. We got a goth molding? Back to the goth molding on the trim work here. Oh, you mean as far as like, whether it's bolted into joists or not properly? Yeah, the, the molding on a few of these doors is real strange. There's like two doorways, two or three doorways. Yeah, it's a comms bunker, it seems, from what it says here on the uh, the blueprint. What were, they, what were they doing with it? What was going on? Hardened uh, two bunkers in one night. I didn't realize this is technically a bunker. I just thought it had a big ass door. Hardened underground bunker on 10 and a half acres. This is the only bunker for sale near a major city that is fully remodeled and ready to move in immediately. Find a buyer and receive a commission. Brokers, realtors, bring your buyers. Only 30 minutes north of Kansas City. 1960s nuclear warproof comms bunker. Goodness. Two foot thick concrete walls and ceiling. Three to four feet of graded earth on top. Copper shielding against EMP. Two 2,000 pound blast doors, eight air vents with info. Oh my God, this is silly. <laughs> After getting to the end of the, of the the goth sex cult dungeon. I think this is silly. <laughs> you go through the 
early picks quickly. Was there something in particular you're looking for, Sonderval? Make it into a streamer house. Yeah, just just really upcharge for it a shitload. They'll pay for it. Mattress walls. I didn't recall seeing mattress walls. I mean, the walls here looked particular. There were there were legs. <gasps> Mortal spotted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that looks like pegboards you see inside of like garages and stuff. Yeah, you're right. Also crutches. They're having a hard time on those stairs. I didn't see anything about padded walls inside here. Hmm. Maybe this is it. What is the purpose of this exactly? <laughs> yeah, the final room. Yeah. <laughs> no more pictures of that room. Well, yeah, peculiar. Let's see. There was one more I wanted to show y'all. Let me see here. Let me get OBS set properly. Let me know your thoughts. What are your thoughts? Oh shit, is this technically a yurt? <laughs> Future side of Bass Pro Shop. <laughs> I like what y'all are thinking. Now this is this is not no ba no bass pyramid. Yeah, fair. It is kind of small. You look at it and you're used to, you're used to pyramids that are so huge, but then you see the doorway and you're like, wait a minute, this is kind of pissant. Unfortunately, this is a hundred twenty thousand dollars. One bed, one bath, five hundred seventy six square feet. Orgonal yurt. <laughs> um, it's not a bunker, I don't think. I think it's just literally a pyramid. 120,000 Glum Baron. <laughs> I mean, it's got it's got AC and ventilation. There's a shack here. Here's the inside of it. I mean, look at look at the ceiling, y'all. Better than I was expecting. Also, let me let me squish up the picture. The resolution jittered a bit, so it's cutting some things off. I want y'all to peep in all these pixels. The Stargate, I don't know if they give us a good look at that. Pick a camera size and stay with it, buddy. Here's a grungy ass kitchen. <laughs> well, as you can see, guys, the lighting in here is immaculate. <laughs> Giant microwave just sticking out. Yeah, well, there, th there's your lighting right there. You see it? I mean, you get one good bulb in there, you can light up most of the place. I don't see why we need to be picky about this. <laughs> It's the brightest nipple light is the sharpest nipple. There is an attic. Yes, there is. There is one lighting. There is a lighting available. There's a bed somewhere. And uh, <laughs> here's, here's, your, <laughs> here's your pyramid wall line shitter. <laughs> this is super cursed. <laughs> Imagine having to deal with this sloped roof all the damn time. The attic is the bedroom. Yeah, that, this has got to be so stuffy. This is Arizona, guys. So uh, <laughs> it's got a to it's got a tub. There you go. Praise America. Here's a tiny piano. <laughs> it does not come with the head and shoulders. No, <laughs> that's mine. <laughs> you don't get that. Let's. Uh, does this have any info about it? That's this one. One bedroom, one bath. It has a unique structure. Four sides are in the shape of a pyramid. The house is furnished, ready for occupancy. Okay, maybe you do get the head and shoulders. Sits on three acres, has two RV hookups. Has anybody bought this? Built, 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 built. Then I scrub past it. 2017. That's a new pyramid, y'all. <laughs> it's bleeding edge. <laughs> Does this have HOA? Are there HOA fees on this? Any HOA. I didn't see anything about, about HOA. They'll probably hit us in the ass with that when we're signing the contract. It's awfully inconvenient. They're probably just leaving it off here. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Annual tax amount, 489. Hmm. Well, folks, I think we've seen enough. 42069, it is nice. But I think we can curve it off there before my eyes decide to burrow out of my head.